Even though snow is not that common across Hampton Roads in the Commonwealth, you don't have to go far to get a winter fix. Yeah, Steve Bandera and Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmonds' son, they hit the slopes of Massanutten to explain the science of snowmaking. No, it's exciting for many of us because it's not that often flakes fly from the sky. On average, Hampton Road sees about six inches of snow per year. Here, about 12 inches more. So with little help from nature, the slopes have to turn to science. The goal is to provide a skiing surface for the guests. We make snow just like snow falls from the sky, just in a different shape and pattern from the traditional snowflake. Snowmaking is more than just spraying water into the air. It's a delicate balance of several variables. It's all about the specific balance between temperature and humidity. We call that the wet bulb temperature. When water evaporates into the air, it creates a new temperature, and that's the wet bulb. The size of the water droplets matter. Too big, the water won't freeze. Too small, it'll completely evaporate. We always try and maximize our pumping capacity based on the temperature. The temperature is always changing and therefore we always have to change with it. Here's where it gets even more complicated. The temperature of each water droplet must drop rapidly in order to freeze. High pressured air blasts the water. When it quickly expands into the surrounding air, the pressure rapidly drops and the temperatures plummet. This makes it possible for places that aren't that cold to create canvases of snow to carve. Massa Nutton, Steve Fendero. And I'm Jeff Edmondson, 10 on your side.